Hello, welcome back guys. Uh, my name is Ketan Satani and you are watching Guju Flutter Guy. So today I will cover a demo uh, called extension methods in Flutter and I hope you all have heard it about it once. Uh, so today we will see how actually extension method works and how it actually making our code more healthier and more better and more readable. And we will also see that how our normal methods uh, works and how many lines of code you can save it from using extension uh, so uh, let's first jump into it on the extension part so then we can see uh, that how exactly it is working and further so you can see here uh, um, we have a, like normal explanation about extension method in flutters so uh, let's uh, go through it uh, so like when you are using someone else api or when you implement your library that's widely used and it is often that uh, it is very impractical or so like impossible to change the api and that's right i guess we cannot change the actual api api implementation and the actual class methods implementation right but still if you want to add something like add any different methods or like some new functionality then i mean surely we can do it so let's say the example here so here is like uh, int dot parse and the string uh, is passed here so it is like very basic they use in like um, any methods if you are using like int is the class right and the parse is its method and we are just passing string and at the result it will give us the uh, string as a integer number right so this is the like very basic use so in extension you can see that uh, here um, the text is only uh, given and after that we are just passing the parsed int method right so this is how different it is uh, this is like simple method call here and here is like extension uh, call so we just uh, need to uh, you know uh, create one extension and the code is here uh, so like uh, start with the extension and you can pass or like you know apply any name to the extension and after that on and, and after that you need to define the uh, class name like uh, you need to add extension on string class or also like double class float class right or like a visit class and after that you need to define your custom uh, method over here so in in this case uh, it is like parse int and in return it gives like integer value uh, so you can see that we are returning int dot parse and this so this is a very cool word over here that uh, it is taking the context of the particular extension and you don't have to pass any input there so the, this keyword is automatically get the value from the string class whatever you are applying over there so i hope it's clear to you that uh, how extension works and how uh, method works normally and how it is different from the normal methods so now we will jump on code now and we will see that in code how actually it is working and with one example we will see and uh, result also that uh, it is working very fine and cool and you can also see that it is uh, you know resolving your lines code and your it is making your code very better yeah so let's jump into the code now so you can see here that i have created already one project and in this main.dart file i have taken center and column and the text widget so now let's say i want to capitalize this text using extension then how can we do it so for that uh, we need to create our extension and uh, you can give any name uh, to this extension but if it is fine like if you don't want to give any name there you can directly take on and after that you need to define the uh, class name so here we are working with the text right so the string class we will be taking so i have taken the string class and in the extension i will define my string uh, and then I will write get and I will define my method name so like make capital and I am returning directly here and then we can use this keyword and 
we can directly grab the string methods uh, string methods over here from the string class say like uh, upper case cool and uh, if you don't want to use this here so it's also fine the extension will get the context here from the value you are passing and it will work similarly so now how to call this extension in our widget so after the tags the hello flutter uh, you can append your extension over here so like dot mac capital okay so error is coming okay fine so we have taken the const here we need to remove that and after that it will work fine so uh, fine I am uh, reloading the screen here and we will see the result so you can see that our text hello flutter is now in uppercase uh, similarly uh, you can use any other extension uh, say like uh, we uh, say like we want to keep only text right from the uh, given string input so for that we can create one extension and we can name it as a keep only sorry only text and in that one we will return our uh, replace all method so what it will does is it will find all the i know numbers and uh, it will keep only text over there so for that we need to define our the uh, reg regex expression and uh, in that one uh, we need to uh, you know uh, define our uh, pattern say like uh, d over here cool and then we can use this uh, extension over here as we use this mac capital so we will define uh, say like keep uh, only text here cool. so we can see that in current text we don't have any uh, numbers over here so first of all we will give some numbers to this text say like hello one two three and after that flutter uh, four five six four five six so now using this extension method uh, it will remove all the numbers using this regular expression and it will keep only text over there fine so we will uh, reload the screen again so you can see that the text is like hello one two three a flutter four five six and in result we we we, we can say that uh, it is have only hello flutter right uh, now let's say reverse the method say like we want to keep only numbers over there we don't want any text there so for that we can create another extension and we can name it as keep only number numbers and in return we will use the same uh, replace all statement but we will change the regex expression over here so for that uh, we need to uh, take the square braces and we need to define 0 to 9 and uh, yeah that's it so now we will use this keep only numbers over here and we have numbers already here right one two three and four five six so we will just reload the screen over here so now you can see that the all the text removed here and the number is also there right so this is the basic uh, string class uh, extension uh, we can use it on uh, say like a widget also uh, so let's say let's see the uh, widget extension demo also so for uh, extension on widget uh, we can take another extension so like extension and it will be like extension on widget class because we are uh, making uh, extension on widget right so we will take say like we want to i know uh, wrap a text the current text we have with the container 
and uh, for that we need to define our container here and we need to return that particular one so we can take so like add container and the container will be have like yellow color that's it and uh, in the method we will return our container and in container we will define our padding and it will be like edge inserts all and the value will be like 16 let's say and we will define margin also uh, it will be same as padding we have taken so I'm just copying it and after that we have taken the container yellow right so we need to define the colors method and the color is like yellow and for child uh, you can define this one because it will similarly take the uh, you know reference or select context from the input you are giving as we checked on string so now uh, we will call this extension on here hello flutter and we will remove this keep only numbers and we will add sorry we will take add container yellow sorry okay fine so we need to define outside of the text not here so it will appear here add container yellow so simply we will reload the screen here and you can see the result fine so you can see that the current text widget is now wrapped with the add container yellow cool and I mean uh, you can define like uh, whatever extension you want in say like string or so like widget also like date time and you can uh, get you know uh, uh, the expected result over there so I'm getting one idea on string also one more extension so like uh, you know in many application we will we can see that uh, in home page uh, there is one text called welcome and XYZ name right so for that we can uh, create extension also uh, let me simplify it. so we will take string get uh, say like append welcome text and in the same extension uh, I will return simply like this uh, say like uh, welcome welcome and I will define this one here that's it we can get like welcome back like this and uh, we can add any name here say like Ketan and in the after text uh, because it is like string so we can uh, append here and we will uh, add our extension say like append welcome text and uh, we will decrease some text size over here and now we will reload the uh, screen and let's say uh, how it looks cool right so you can see that we have taken the append welcome text extension and we have used this one also we have used a regular expression over here in keep only numbers and we have also checked keep only text here and we have also checked that we can make capitalize using this extension so the main benefit is like uh, you can see that in few of lines we have uh, checked so many things right so in the same case if you are uh, using say like any uh, util class right so for that what you need to do how to do is so like uh, you need to take one class right and in the same um, in class you need to uh, define one static method and you, you you should have to give like one input there and based on that input the method will work so that's it guys uh, i have basically explained the extension method and the flutter and uh, we will see that in future uh, 
uh, we can uh, add more extension methods over here and so like uh, we can use like any other topic in the flutter uh, let's say the isolates right so in the next video we will cover the isolates so stay tuned and uh, we will uh, uh, meet you in the next time so in meantime stay good and goodbye